with the appropriate music. Hey everyone, this is Waldorf. And this is Statler. And today we're just going to do a quick little thing on the search for magic. Design we're looking proposals. for magic. No, yeah, we're looking for magic. They're looking for magic. They're looking for magic. <laughs> oh, to ho, happen. ho, it's magic, you know. Yes. Never believe it's not so. <laughs> it's magic. You know way too much of that stuff. You know. <laughs> Uh, this was from Blonde Beer. He posted that the uh, the design team is looking for proposals for a magic system. Uh, uh, changes to the new to the current magic system, which is a new magic system um, for the ninth age. And I basically uh, he he had done a video too, which is probably at the link. But um, and just we'll watching, say we'll post the link. We'll, we'll say won't. we'll post the link, but we'll probably forget as we always do. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> So basically, they're as part of the overall redesign um, of of the game to free themselves of any potential IP issues. They feel they need to make some adjustments to the magic system. Plus, I guess they're getting a lot of feedback that a lot of people aren't liking the magic system um, since the last changes. And the last changes were really mostly about um, tweaking the various spell lists and then um, and how the uh, how the uh, uh, miscast uh, was affecting units. I think. Correct. Were, I mean, there were other little minor things, but uh, yeah, that was the biggest thing. And it, there was also a toning down. The magic got toned down quite a bit. Well, by by bringing the the, the number of, of of paths to a smaller number. Correct. And they pretty much done their way with the uh, you know the previous version that's all those uber spells in it, and right. those are those those are gone. And I think that overall was a, was a, was a good thing. So basically, they've uh, asked people to comment back for on, on kind of a brainstorming way. So this isn't a decision phrase; it's brainstorming, which basically means throw all the ideas you can at a, a piece of paper, and eventually something will stick. Correct. <laughs> you know, and they'll they'll widow it down based on some of their own ideas. I'm sure they already have some ideas of the general direction, but probably want to see what other people have to say. So this is our bit to say what we think. Yeah. Um... And I, it's also by by gathering up ideas from everybody in the community, they can take what you know, they can take pieces from each and piece something. Right. Exactly. You know, I'm kind of hoping they'll be able to piece something together really good out of what they're getting. Right. You know, a bit from this. You know, a bit from that. Right. And the other one is a, a in the in the video and then also in the email kind of talks about how with the new uh, background and everything that what. I know there's no it's not like the winds of magic it's more kind of he describes it kind of like a level of radiation that yeah. you know trained people can tie you into can poke and, holes through and yeah hold up. you know yes. yeah uh, and 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 use it uh to 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 good effect or have accidents with correct the um so anyway so this is blonde beer's uh proposal it's out on the site it's in the news section if you want to Take a look at it. There's links here to what the, some of the proposals that have already been made. Right. According to this, um, 250 design ideas in just over a week, and who knows how old this post is. Yeah, well, I, <laughs> I didn't even know about it. I didn't notice it until uh, I w saw the video come up when I was going on the YouTube is to check on, get a URL for something else for the, right. for the blog, and I happened to notice it. Yep. So anyway, so anyway, if you have ideas, post them. Yep, definitely. Or chip in on some of the ideas that they have already that somebody's put out there. Right. Um, but this is kind of kind of so, what we're looking at. Yeah. So with that, just uh, we're gonna talk through some of the things that you know just come up off the top of our head as we or we're chatting here. Yeah. A number of them you're gonna have heard if you looked at some of our other videos when we talked about <laughs> changes we would we'd like to see with uh, with an earlier you know versions of it. So correct. Um, and really, I, you know, the base part, wizards are plus one, master wizards are plus two. This is two. I mean, overall, <sighs> terrible. I don't think the system they designed is is terribly flawed as I far as like the, the mechanics. The yeah. I think most of the mechanics are sound. Right. Um, I think most of the spells as they designed work pretty well i mean mm -hmm. some of the casting values seem to be a little off and yeah on different ones and yeah. some of that's been left over from when they were a powerful version earlier correct they got toned down but the casting yeah. didn't get toned down and maybe a you know maybe two spells i think they might want to change and 
the and the only uh, path that I have a little bit of challenge with is druidism because it seems a lot like the old. Uh, it seems like a kind of a copy and paste. Down yes. The old, yes. Especially as that crown yeah, is still uh, the, the throne is still there. So. Correct. The open throne. Um, but but generally speaking, uh, I, I generally like the idea that most of the spells are helping spells, which is the way mm -hmm. I've always liked. The little buffs. Magic. Um, they don't have really. There's only a few that are can be powerful, but it's usually only against certain types of units, like units full of characters. So. Right. So they're counter. So they're natural counters. So I think that part of it, it's, it's it's fine. Um, yeah, I do too. I think the only, to me, I think the only problem with the magic system right now is that it's too expensive and too, for what you're getting out of it mm -hmm. and too random for what you're getting out the, of it. The biggest problem I have is that, yes, I think the mages, um, the points don't make a lot of sense right. um, for, for what you're paying um, for, for the return and, and for some armies how the miscast can pretty much hurts them much more than other armies. Yeah, I mean, even elves seem to come to mind as they're yeah, expensive. because they're expensive toughs and three guys. Of t yeah. yeah. Weak guys. Right. But um, really, to me, they just need to make a f few tweaks to um, how how that damage is handled as far as for right. miscast. And they need to get rid of a lot of the randomness and the especially in the spell choice and the biggest yeah rub i have is the spell choices yes. because if you want people to take mages and build synergies with their army it, it's gonna it's not that they took the path of um of pyromancy it's they're looking for specific spells in pyromancy right. for that synergy to work and we've talked about this many times the idea that i've you know i've got this super knowledgeable wizard but for some reason he's an absent-minded professor yeah and when he gets to the battle he doesn't remember which scrolls he bought and brought with him and he doesn't happen to remember the right spells yeah it's like, after i forked out yeah after I forked 600 out points for him you know 400 points for this guy <laughs> you know? why do i need you you're not helping <laughs> exactly me at all yeah yeah so, so that's just that's just terrible and i think it's a that's something that you know eighth edition did you got around it in eighth edition because you put enough spells and you had a good chance of getting what the number six spell right and it was usually only a few past people wanted anyway and you just five diced or six diced everything yeah, well, you could also, you know, you also had the kind of a backup in a lot of the old ones is you pick a path that has a default spell that you like, and, you spend and that way, if nothing else, you yes, get yes. that. Or you take a number of guys again. Yeah. So, so yeah, but, so, in going through it, I mean, first is, right now, you have a couple things with your wizards. First, you have wizard apprentices, wizard masters, and then you have every wizard comes with one spell and you can have up to four spells right for uh might be a couple of you know special uh, the abilities you get up beyond that so and then when you actually have to pay for a wizard apprentice oh well you get the wizard apprentice if you if it's naturally a maze some some characters you can actually give them the apprentice ability mm -hmm. and then the wizard master you have to pay the extra points which you can pay the extra points to get that but you don't have to get extra spells with it right. it's a separation that uh um that i kind of like actually yeah i, I don't see the point of it oh really <laughs> yeah hmm. i mean i don't see the point of having a plus one versus a plus two it's fairly significant if you're paying 100 points for it with an item uh, yeah i mean you're, you're paying points for it i understand it but you have a zero which is basically all of your uh bound items right, right? you know they're 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 they don't get anything and then you have a then you have a one or two to me this level of separation isn't necessarily that's not what should separate the wizards to me it's which should separate the wizards to me is the number of spells that they can cast. Oh, okay. You know, so. Well, that was the other thing too. Is and now you're so, so now it's so much better to get bound items because yes. okay because oh, you know what you know what they are. Yes. You know what they can do. They don't kill you. They're not going to kill you. You can throw <laughs> as many dice as you want at them. They might, might break. And, and they all have really them. low casting values. Yeah. You know, so that's yeah. kind of you know that's kind well, of the best to me. The best magic armies in the game, ironically, right now. Are the ones without wizards? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the beastmen. I mean, the beast, beast herds. herds have their bound. Whatever e they call them. EOS has all their prayers. EOS has tons. The you dwarves know. are one of the better casting armies yeah. right now. Yeah, because that anvil and the other thing is yeah, yeah, just ridiculous. Which is, yeah. Anyway, like I said, I, I just think magic is backwards from where it belongs. Right. Um, so I don't mind these, 
The problem I have with it is we talked earlier about the spending, the total, the, how much points you're spending to make your with to get a wizard right where you want it. The problem is you're spending a ton of points to get extra spells so you have a better chance at getting what you exactly. want. Exactly. Not even so you get what you want. Right. So you have a better chance at it. And, and that's what kills Again, me. the points are just way off yeah. for what it is. But for me, the first thing is I actually wouldn't bother with the pluses. The plus, the plus one, plus two. Oh, yeah. The I, only people I that like can it. cast spells are wizards anyway. Correct. But so, I like this. It gives you a bonus if you're a better wizard. You could drop the plus but, two. The plus one, I guess. Right. Just drop all the spells one casting level. Oh, I mean, then, then wizard masters get plus one. If you want to have a modifier, yes. yes that, that's fine. Go ahead. You know, why, why have that, you know? I see what you're saying. Yeah. Why have that? Okay. Yeah. I understand. I can take that. Um, then it brings us to the spells. Yep. Um, so you have the learn spells. And this one's always killed me. We talked about this. And what we were just talking about it is this. You don't know what spells you're going to get. <laughs> And now you can't uh, even duplicate uh, spells. Correct. Uh, even the uh, even the base spells, which I, I'm okay with. Um, I kind of liked. I mean, I know the stacking is kind of a risky thing. So, but I always kind of liked in the old system that you could uh, get you know multiple uh, baseline spells. Right. Uh, I think it was only, it was only bad, frankly, if you had like uber spells. You didn't want somebody sending like two purple suns at you a turn. Yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> the uh, well, and then the, when the when they had the very valuable cheap spells, what was it? The miasma, or whatever yeah, yeah, it was, or when you could spam that three to and four times, where you could, or where spells would continue to stack on top of one another. Correct. So if you have spells, if you don't, uh, you don't allow that stacking, and a number of the spells actually have limits. You can only do it to so much. So they've already controlled right. it to a certain degree. You don't necessarily have to have that that limitation. I mean, it depends on the spell designs and of course. But I really believe that they need to get rid of this random spell generation. Either you buy your spells, and if you're buying them, then I think you do so many points and you buy the first spell, you buy the second. If you want the fourth, you have to buy the third too. You know, and you've... Just for how many spells you're going to have, so you decide how many spells that guy has. Heck, you might have six spells. You know, right? You could you could do that. Why not? You only got if you can only do so much casting. You either do that, or that's how you differentiate, or you separate it differently and say the difference between a wizard apprentice is they know the first three spells, and then the wizard master knows you know one through six. So right. there's a reason to, the uber wizard basically just has more spells at, at their disposal. I mean, that, that's the other way to to, to right. handle it. But I do think the spell should be, you know, you should know what you have. Yeah, you should definitely know what you have on right. your army list. And that's right. so either let people pay for them individually or base it on the level of the wizard and it's, it's done all this randomness. That would change, I think, a lot of people's choices and then balance the points a little bit. Um, yeah. Because right now, if you look at the stats, I actually don't think the points are so bad for buying the levels. I think the base points of the wizards are crazy. I mean, they basically cost as much as a fighting hero again if you, <laughs> you know, know what that guy is bringing to the table that's not as bad if it's enough <laughs> you right. know, if he's bringing enough but if he's just bringing one spell it's still challenging right. but yeah it's not as bad I agree so that I think that one change will do a lot to help wizards it would the attributes and, this, and the traits that's all cool I like what they've right. done with well, I said with most of them except for you know druidism yeah, like I said, I like what they've done with the spells, yeah. but in the magic system, they want to get away from it because they want to differentiate right. Ninth Age from another from the old legacy system. Yes. Um, anyway, spell properties. These and, are, and I think this is fine. I mean, it's, it can be a little overwhelming. I think for a newer player, there's yeah. so many different, you know, things that they do, uh, especially when spells have di multiple levels. So that can be a little overwhelming. Right. But it's okay, you know. Again, the boosted thing was fine. I didn't, they've cut down on the spell types, actually, from what they originally came up with. Yes, they have. Yeah. So. The. Uh, right? Yeah, but I said it, it, it can be a bit overwhelming, but that's not a problem that's stop people from taking the, uh, the, the uh, spell duration. Um, it's okay. <laughs> um the remains in play is kind of a <laughs> the a legacy thing. They yeah. probably could do away with it if they wanted to, and just make them you know last one turn, yeah, last one turn right. like other spells, and maybe adjust some of the casting values if they want to streamline that. But otherwise, the permanent 
I, I actually think they should get rid of the permanent effect yeah, spells. Yeah, permanents are really devastating. They, they, or yeah, not they, so much now that they've been toned down. But it still can be pretty rough. I mean, depending on the type of army you have, the right kind of spells can really hurt well, you. Well, yeah, I had a guy going hit me with that, uh, whatever, that minus one armor save permanently. Yes. Just pegging me with it every turn. And it's like, oh, this is getting ugly. Yeah, that's 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 rough. Uh, I, I'm not a fan of, of, of the permanent spells. Right. Um, so yeah, that could go, I guess. Yeah. I again, I don't mind the sequence at all. The sequence is fine. The only thing it got a little tricky is when you're able to dispel and when the guy can. It's that bluffing and ending the phase before you. Yeah. Dispel something was a little weird, but other than that. Yeah. The main thing um, that we get into though is is the magic flux or whatever they're going to call it. Correct. So now you're basically you're rolling two d six so. Another variable that is too great. Correct. You're somewhere between 2 and 12. Right. Which is a huge... So you di your difference between casting one spell, potentially, or six. Correct. Just because how the dice rolled. And a six and a one is terrible for you because it means it you've only got one more die than your opponent. Exactly. So the this is... Act you actually get more... You're averaging more extreme results than you want to see. Correct. Just because six turn... I mean, it's basically 12 die rolls during the, during the game. Well, yeah, but... You're you know, paying the other. This is another point. I'm paying 450 points for a mage, whatever it is, so I can help my line, everything else. And I go through a game where I get unlucky and roll five, six of my rolls with a five or below a total correct. on the two dice. Correct, correct. Now all those points I spent are pretty much wasted. Yeah, I mean, I, I so, think I mean, they need again, to do something to stabilize it. To stabilize and push it a little bit more towards the middle. And I think there's a number of ways they can do that. Uh, a variable way would be you only roll 1d6 for the variable component, and then you have a fixed value. Now, you could do something neat. You could say, you know, every army has their own fixed value between 3 and 5 or 3 and 6, whatever it is. Oh, based on the race. Based on the race. So, you know, you know Saurian Ancients and, and Highborn Elves would have a higher number. And they could have a different <laughs> offensive as defensive they could in that way. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Like the dwarves could be a three dice two dice power but only but get four in defense or whatever. right or zero dice <laughs> casting yeah, but, you know sort of so then you can play with some armies that are better at a defensive magic some mm -hmm. armies are better at cast. and then you're, you give a you're always going to have at least enough to get a few spells off right you know that's um if you're concerned about pushing at the upper end just too much magic you can make it a d3 instead of a d6 you know right but i think having a fixed value tied to the to the race and then a uh, you know a, a piece of a little bit of variation variability is fine but it shouldn't be i don't know right. I'm, I'm i just launched all these charges and i really need to get you know i'm really hoping to get one of three spells off right. oh I rolled three, you know, and two he's got one. two. He's got two. I got one more I, than I one. hope I can get one of the spells right. off. And darn, I rolled low. I didn't. <laughs> and I really needed that, you know, right. because my army, especially if your army doesn't have a lot of buff wagons, which, or buff abilities, which is probably too much of in the game anyway. And some armies, right. the only way to get that is to use magic and have magic be so unreliable. But I think if they do something with this, uh, with the magic flux that makes it a little more a little like you know less random that'll help so much right and i don't know about the old guessing game thing yes I just, again yeah i don't think it's necessary no <laughs> the uh, um spell casting sequence sequence is fine sequence is fine i actually don't mind the lost focus bit on it i that's fine too if you're going to keep the uh the, the modifier right i said i don't think it's necessary because the only people that can cast are mages so you know what's what's the difference? Okay, so you well, can why drop, bother? I don't mind dropping the plus one on the wizard apprentice and yeah. just give the master plus one, and yeah. that's it. You drop the cost by one across. The yeah, board. yeah, that takes care of the same thing, and it's one less modifier. Why Correct. Not? And then you can pretty much get rid of pretty much most of the modifiers. Now you're down to a plus two. The and then we come to the overwhelming power chart, um, which I'm fine with that. The I, way it is, I'm not fine. Well, how you do a miscast. How a miscast occurs. Right. Right. It's just a little too devastating. And that I think you can fix because they need, instead of doing it on uh, strength being modified by the dice, because that disadvantages certain races over others, which, and it happens to be the 
you know, some of the races are supposed to be the best with magic. <laughs> right. You change the table that it causes this many wounds. So it doesn't oh, matter if your toughness wounds. five, your toughness three. It can't okay. be these numbers. It can't be you know, Correct. Yeah, <laughs> 16. Yeah, but it just be, you're going to cause this many wounds on you. So it doesn't yeah. matter if you have multi rune guys or what, you know, whatever you have. You're going to take this take many wounds. wounds. Right. Yeah. So your big toughness, it doesn't matter. You're still taking a wound. It's magic. Correct. Correct. Okay. That's, that's actually a good thought. And everything else in this chart, I think, is, is, is fine. It's fine. It stacks. That's, I mean, it's really hard to get to this 20. It is really hard. You had to have used five dice. You had to have rolled a three on this. Right. Um, so three times four, 20. That's, and I don't yeah. know why the plus is here because you can't have plus 20. <laughs> yeah. The most you can have is, I guess, if you have a modifier, thaumaturgy gives you plus one, doesn't it? Yeah. Thaumaturgy, whatever. Yeah. And if you have so a modifier, I guess that one can bring Somebody up. may have a modifier that they Google again. Yeah. I've remember, never but, seen one, but yeah. I guess it could be there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's a good idea if it's based on just wounds. Right. Like, yeah, you cut it way down, but it's based on wounds. Yeah. Bound spells. Bound spells are fine. They just they're too easy to cast with no minuses compared to regular spells. Correct. And the no minuses are okay, no minus they have a chance of burning themselves out is is enough of a risk. Yeah. Um, all that does is prevent you from rolling four. But it needs to be a little better of a probability to burn themselves out, you know. The, yeah, either that or the, I mean, the the casting needs to go up on the down spells. Anyway. It does. It does need to. Go, oh, I, th I think two things. I think it needs to go up a bit, and I think if you you can change it to double, so they have you know they to have a decent chance of getting it, they need to roll at least two dice. Right. Then there's a ch there's a decent chance you're going to roll doubles. Correct. You really want it. You roll three dice. There's an even higher chance you're going to roll doubles. So there's a better probability of it of it, of it uh, you know burning out. Not well, a great, you don't want it to be a great probability because you're paying, right. but it needs to be somewhat of a probability, and you don't need them to have throw five five you know throw five dice at it. The, if you're going to keep it this low, then you like this, then you're going to need to raise the points of it, do something. Yeah. But you know, I think it's just better just to raise the casting values a bit, because you shouldn't be at an advantage taking a bound, which I think you are now because it's just so much Correct. cheaper. Taking bound items over some guy that's supposed to be really good. Okay, they get a plus, and these are easy to dispel, but that's not enough, frankly. Correct. You know? Well, and like again, I'm harping on the same thing, but. When you take the bound items, you know what you're getting as well. Oh, absolutely. So it's the same thing. Yep. So bound items can stay, but I think just they need the cash. And the, and the plus of the spell is, is, is fine. The um, how yeah. it recovers wounds and everything yeah, is, is, all is these fine. Are fine. Now they're doing all this stuff. Something I'm not a fan of of uh, raising units. I've never have been. Right. Which is, which is something undead armies can do. Just yeah, because it's, it's only the vampires now. Yeah, I mean the idea that I can does. raise a unit behind you. you well, know. the shamanism spell does that too now. Yeah, I I just don't. Uh, yeah. Well, at least it's on the board edge. I I can't just well, I can't just grow it right behind your block. You yeah, know? but even that's bad too. Yeah. I mean that's fan technically. Oh, it's anything, a fantastic spell. Anything yeah. that increases your army size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, on no, top of everything else. No, I think that spell's fantastic, and I yeah. I, I do think it has to go yeah. I, mean, I mean it'd be okay if it was if it raised and it went away at the end of the magic phase correct <laughs> you know and you could do something with it but <laughs> or it to be a permanent addition right and then you don't lose any points when it dies which is my other challenge with summon units correct. i'm growing all these zombies and i'm killing them all but i lost the game because That's all like, i killed was all these zombies you I raised could never get through this. and i couldn't get through and get my objective you know right. That's that's no that's no fun. Or you you hold me up just long enough because you're undead. Now you're growing some guys behind me. I couldn't stop because of how the the magic flux was. Now you charge me in the rear and you've negated my uh, rank right. bonus and everything else. You know that's for something that was basically you know free. That that's a bit of a challenge. But yeah, so the other thing just, on here that I think needs to change drastically is magic resistance. I didn't see oh, it come yeah, up it's here. Not here. It's not in the section. Yeah, I think it's down it's below. Here. So magic resistance currently, and this is the same as it was in eighth, is basically it gives you a plus one ward against attack spells. Correct. And that's it. And that's it. So it doesn't help you against things that are cast against you. Correct. It doesn't help you against anything else. And a plus one ward, so if you don't have one, you know, big deal for a six up ward save, right. you know, against some of these things. If you happen to have a big ward save, it's great. But right. But but otherwise I, I don't I just don't like it. Um, no, not at all. It just doesn't seem to be it. And you'd like to see more, you know, defensive MR armies, like maybe dwarves or like uh, whatever they're going to call the old uh, 
the Wrath guys. I don't know <laughs> what direction they're oh, going with yeah, Warriors yeah, of Dark yeah. Gods. Warriors of Dark Gods. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping they're going. I've I've heard they're going with the Seven Deadly Sins, which I think is. I'm hoping that instead they go with like the four writers of the apocalypse. Yeah, that would be nice. Maybe a little more controllable. Yes, kind of, you know, seven. Yes. Correct. <laughs> but balancing, you know, two is hard enough. Seven, I just can't yeah. imagine. Anyway, um, there I, I'd kind of like it to be that it helps against more things. I'm okay that it's defensive, that it helps, you know, uh, the units that it's being cast against and it doesn't right. help you stop things, you know, for buffs. So it makes it, you know makes maybe buffs a little better you have to think about that but uh you know i kind of i kind of like the idea that it basically gives you and you know an extra dispel dice on that particular yeah. unit well, so that, yeah that's way back so we used to remember it used yeah to it was dice, it was that but, way in 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 warhammer but even if it fifth. added to your casting cost or something anything or it makes you it null you know it nullifies a casting die you know correct <laughs> You need to, add, you know, add another die to get right. to, to get the effect. You know, yeah, that no, would I be agree. much better. That way, okay, now you can't slow my unit down or reduce their weapon skill. You know, because I'm supposed to be resistant to magic, not just stuff that damages me. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You know, I'm. I can. It, so basically, it's like having extra shield. You know. <laughs> so I think they need to fix that on MR, so it's a little better of a, a of an option. And there, there's trade offs to that, right. but uh, but I think it it would make it a you know, a little more well-rounded. Okay. And, uh, Sounds good. But again, my biggest, my biggest complaint at all with the whole magic system that's currently in place is the random spell generation. Mine is that you're paying a lot of points for random spell generation and you've got no idea of if you're, you're going to have a chance to get any spells off based on what you roll. The winds of magic or yes. whatever they want to call it now. Yes. yes. The flux. The it's, flux. Yeah, you know, it's too random, and then what? Then it's just too and with high those, probability that your opponent's going to have almost as many dice as you do, and you're not going to get anything off. And with those two things in play, you're right. Spending points on it just seems ridiculous. Right. I'm spending points on this that I'm hoping to get a spell I can use, and then I'm hoping to get the dice I can I need to get that spell. Right, and I'm hoping my opponent doesn't have enough dice to stop it. And the other problem with the flux currently with the big huge random no and the number it is is a level a single level two mage if that's what you're going to take now there's a good chance you're never going you're unless you want unless you're willing to throw four and five dice at a spell right there's a good chance you're not going to get a spell off correct because your opponent should have is going to have at least four or five dice at turn yes so that means you're having to beat those what numbers he has so you're having to roll three and four if, dice. If you're one up um, on dice, which is not uncommon, right? Um, even at four dice, there's a, an okay chance, maybe only 33%, but okay chance that they can stop it. Right. Now there's a 33% chance that you've you've miscast and he's not going to bother because he wants to watch and laugh as you <laughs> remove models. Okay. So, yes. you know, it's just, that's the extremes again. It's just too high probability for the extremes. Right. And there's too many randoms in there to sink a ton of points in. Right. That's why, that's my objection to taking magic right now. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and people are asking me, because I've been, you've seen, if you looked at the battle reports, I have no mages at all lately. Um, and that's, this is why. Yeah, yeah. So. And, yeah, so I, I think if, you know. But I'll be happy to see a change. I will be too. I mean, like I said, I, I like that they got rid of the, I win, I, I th six dice this spell and right. I win spells. Because yeah. that was ridiculous. Yeah, they were anti-Death Star, but because they went to the Death Star, that made them even better against other stuff. Other so stuff, correct. The, uh, that's a bonus. I've always, I mean, I play historicals. What differentiates fantasy from historicals is magic. Correct. Yeah, you got, to be there. Yeah, you got monsters and, and fantasy, but you got, you know, tanks and... <laughs> Elephants and other things in the historicals, historicals too, so so it's not like it's uh, that different. What what really differentiates is, is is magic. That's what makes it you know different. Mm -hmm. And having all these spells that, that just tweak your units here and there, I think that's great because it adds variability and adds more strategy to the game. But you need to have a, a good chance of getting these these things off. It also helps, particularly some of the you know armies that have weaker fighting capabilities, keeping their units around and. And, right. and and whatever but yeah get rid of the variability and and i think that in what spells you get like i said and i think get rid of some of the variability in the in the magic flux that'll take care of in my and then 
well, revalidate the points. Well, the points, if, if those two <laughs> things are balanced, then it, the points might turn out to be okay. They, they, they might. Um, Based on what you're doing for your army, that might be okay. The, anyway. Depending on what, though, let's say what you do. If you say, well, an apprentice knows three spells and a, and a, and a master knows six, right. well, you're not going to have you know, points for every level. <laughs> the, Correct. Right. If you're going to have points for every level, then you have to have, you kind of have to have even allow them to get all six spells. <laughs> the, or you need to reduce your spells by two. So, mm-hmm. right. Because if you're going to have fixed spells, then you have to have the ability to get the fixed spells. <laughs> the, well, I mean, anyway, I don't think you get all the spells that are there. I just think you choose, you know, there's six spells in every lore, every path right now. Yes. Um, typically, the five and six spells are better than the others. The, Typically, the better, well, the, the higher the, the number it gets. It's better. well, they're stronger. They're not necessarily better. They're, they're stronger, stronger. Correct. So, and I mean, frankly, yeah. then you have to look at your spells a little closer, though, because pretty much every lore has a suboptimal. I mean, you could spell. easily say a wizard apprentice gets two spells that he can choose from the first three in each path okay. in the path, and the wizard master gets four spells that he can choose from the whole path. You could. Um, I mean, there's a ton of things you could do. Right. But I, it's I, all related to choice, not correct, correct, rolling. correct, correct. I'd prefer he just gets the three, per, the three, and he gets it, or he gets the six, and you know, because you're uh, you're going to choose during the game anyway what you're using. So the well, I would rather than anyway. And then I've, you get then you get I've, the whole I've, army list thing. Yeah, well, I would rather have it on the army list, be there. That's why I everything want everything else you cast. Right. That's why I want it on the army list. If I'm in a tournament, correct. It's the and, same thing. And that's why I want it. I want the wizard apprentice to have. In, for uh, this is just, again just an example. I want the apprentice to have two spells. I want the master to have four. It's printed on the army list. This is what you have to choose from. I don't want the wizard master to have six spells going into a game because that's just more thinking for that person to go through. Oh well, do I want to do this? Do I want to do this? Do I want to do this? Send it out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it that's down. true. Less thinking. My concern is, like I said, I think there's a number of spells that are situational and they'll just they never are. get taken. <laughs> the uh, um, well, and, and I, I think I don't mind situation and not in a tournament environment at least, you know. And I think some do because would because you cover you a lot of time. You, a lot of times you're picking something to cover your weakness in a certain situation. It's okay if you've got four spells that you allocate one to the situational thing because I really don't have any other way to deal with the situation. So I want this in my back. If, if it's that far, but if it's in a situation where it's really only going to help you against one or two armies. Now the you, other thing you can take it. The other thing this would will do if you're picking spells is down the road, I don't know, four or five months into this with this system, if you pick spells, you'll see which spells can be trimmed out of the list. That's correct. <laughs> because you'll see these spells, you'll see that spell that does a random, one that did the random plus or right. minus to your whatever. <laughs> yes. You'll see these spells just disappear, which is a good thing, which will trim down the list. Maybe Correct. something more interesting will come and take its place. Yes. Anyway, um, that would be what I was looking for again. But it's all oh, based on Oh, choice. definitely, because you'd see where the where, where the strengths or synergies are. Um, yeah. Ab- absolutely. Yeah. And I'll, one more time, I know exactly what everything on my list does except for a yes. wizard. Yes. So You have no idea what the wizard does. You don't, you don't know what he's bringing from game to game, <laughs> and you don't know what... Uh, He's actually going to be able to do correct from, from game to game. So just those are those are our two cents, I yeah. guess. Yes. Hopefully you'll all take that into consideration and get this done. <laughs> yeah. Do exactly what we say. We don't have we don't have a magic we, proposal. We just have this yes, is what we want. Exactly. So <laughs> you can just you can just you know all the other brainstorming. It, it, it doesn't matter. We're just, we're just discounting it all. You do all the hard work and do <laughs> yeah. all that stuff. We're just yeah. going to tell you what's wrong. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> clearly we're we're experts in the field. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, uh, all right. Well, that's going to do it for this. I think. Yep. Thanks for listening. Till next time.